The following is a video presentation on the marketing recommendations to relaunch or improve the marketing mix of Coffee Republic. Once known for the best coffee in the UK, Coffee Republic went into administration earlier this year. However, they have recently emerged from administration and due to this we feel there are many changes that need to be made to improve their marketing mix, some of which we will be discussing in this video. Coffee Republic was quite a successful company before the recession hit. They won the Media Today Achievement Award for Best Investment in 2007. However, the recession did affect them and was perhaps the cause of the company going into administration. Nevertheless, they re-emerged on the 29th of July 2009 as Coffee Republic Trading Limited. The issue is, however, that Coffee Republic have just continued with the business as usual approach since being acquired by Arab Investment Limited. Many people are unaware that they are out of administration and there has been nothing new to entice customers to take a look in the store. Our recommendation is that Coffee Republic should work on creating a fresh new image of themselves, showing they are coming out fighting despite being negatively affected by the economic downturn. They could perhaps change their trademark colours of black and burgundy to something more vibrant to illustrate change and a new approach to business. Their slogan, In Coffee We Trust, is also something they could use more to give the brand an enhanced identity. We believe Coffee Republic are not utilising the fact that they now have the opportunity to relaunch a much stronger brand effectively. The quality of their coffee is a strong selling point, and so they should advertise themselves as a new company with a new coffee. Coffee Republic need to pick out the strong aspects of their business, such as the wide range of beverages they sell, the fact that they have conference rooms to hire, and the free Wi-Fi access and have special discounts as a start-up scheme for the new Coffee Republic. This would bring in new customers and once people get accustomed with Coffee Republic, perhaps they will remain customers. One of Coffee Republic's biggest weaknesses is the fact that they don't target any particular market segment. They aim to attract all kinds of people with various backgrounds, occupations and incomes. This broadness means that they are not targeting the people that are most likely to come into the stores. We suggest that Coffee Republic should market their products through different types of advertising to appeal to different audiences. A good example is milkshakes. Milkshakes attract many teenagers and most coffee shops on the high street do not make milkshakes. Therefore Coffee Republic needs to relate their milkshakes with teenagers. Another distinguishing factor is the conference room facility they offer. The conference room particularly appealed to the business people from the social economic group ABC1. One way in which Coffee Republic can target this particular group is to internet advertising, as most of the ABC1 customers have internet access at home and use the internet on a daily basis. Another way would be through advertising on newspapers which are most commonly read by this particular group. We discovered that people who visit coffee shops in the city most regularly during daytime hours are business people who are under time constraints. They are more likely to visit the most convenient coffee shop, in most cases being the one that is closest to them. This fact is also true for people in other segments of the market. For example, shoppers will visit the coffee shop which is closest when they are out in order to save time travelling. We found that only a few people would actually go out of their way to visit a particular coffee shop. Therefore, we believe that the future locations of Coffee Republic bars need to be carefully selected. It would be ideal for the coffee chain to have more bars near offices in London and in busy high streets. Although there is a Coffee Republic bar situated on South Moulton Street, which is just off Oxford Street, potential customers would not necessarily know it was there since it is away from the busy high street. Starbucks, one of Coffee Republic's main competitors, has a bar on South Moulton Street too but also has two other bars on Oxford Street itself. This gives them a stronger competitive advantage in terms of attracting customers. Additionally, Starbucks has bars in key locations such as Moorgate, Kings Cross, Paddington, Victoria, Liverpool Street and many more, whereas Coffee Republic does not. Hence, to improve their marketing mix in terms of place from the four P's, it would greatly benefit Coffee Republic to locate their bars in more highly populated areas and also in locations which are clearly visible and accessible. Coffee Republic, although well known by their regular customers, are not known by the whole market and so, perhaps, they isolate some members of the public that could be potential customers. 
One way that Cochrane Republic can reach the different audiences is through better advertising. Again, through research, we have found that Coffee Republic does very little in terms of advertising. This is unlike the other coffee chains. For example, Costa has recently released an advertisement stating that the public think that their coffee is supposedly better than Starbucks coffee. We believe that Coffee Republic need to invest in more advertising to promote the brand and create more awareness. This in turn would help them to attract more customers and gain a larger market share. Although Coffee Republic have special offers on from time to time, they do very little to promote them. This again is another weakness of their strategy. We recommend that they focus more time and energy on making the public aware of their promotions, which are actually rather good in order to attract more customers. There are many ways in which Coffee Republic can increase awareness to advertising. These include advertising in newspapers and magazines, at the back of town buses, and having eye-catching billboards alongside busy roads and tourist attractions. Also, train and tube stations are ideal locations. Internet advertising through the use of web banners and web pop-ups is also very effective. Another effective and direct form of advertising is giving out free coffee samples and hot chocolate at universities and shopping malls. This attracts a wide variety of consumers and familiarizes them with the Coffee Republic brand. Another important strategy is providing incentives to customers. This can be done through vouchers. For example, as a Christmas offer, customers can get 10% off vouchers when they buy anything from Coffee Republic. The vouchers can then be used during Christmas where customers could have one week in which to redeem them. Another way in which Coffee Republic can improve their marketing mix is through concessions. Although they currently have quite a lot of concessions with Cineworld, Green King for example, we believe there are plenty more opportunities for expansion. Universities will be good places to have Coffee Republic concessions as students generally drink a lot of coffee and other products such as hot chocolate and milkshakes. Bookstores and supermarkets are potential locations to have exclusive rights to serve coffee, as many readers tend to have a cup of coffee whilst reading a book. As for supermarkets, they get all kinds of people, particularly families who spend a lot of time shopping. Airports, mainline train stations and motorway services are also prime locations. Other significant locations would be inside stadiums, theme parks and entertainment centers. The problem, however, is that most of these locations are taken up by Coffee Republic's main competitors, with Costa having concessions with Tesco, Waitrose, Waterstones and W.H. Smith, Starbucks with Sainsbury and Borders, and Cafe Nero with British Airports Authority, Selfridges and House of Fraser. This clearly reiterates the importance of being a coffee provider in these locations. We suggest that Coffee Republic should try to get concessions in these prime locations. For example, with supermarkets, a good target would be Asda or Morrison's. As for bookstores, Blackwell's comes to mind. Therefore, concession is a key strategy in improving the marketing mix of Coffee Republic. Coffee Republic offers franchise opportunities. Through the research we carried out, we found that some franchise owners were unhappy with how much support they receive. The franchise owners have discretion over how to design their bars and all other internal issues. This has many, many negative impacts. It leads to a lack of uniform in Coffee Republic bars. Some will be well decorated, whilst others lack in appeal. If the franchise owners are not coping well with their own store, it puts the reputation of Coffee Republic's name in jeopardy as the quality and service may be lacking. This in turn means some Coffee Republic bars will be favoured over others by the public. In order to maintain a regular customer flow in all Coffee Republic bars, the company should introduce guidelines on store layout and design. This would also make their brand identity stronger since customers would know exactly what to expect from each Coffee Republic bar. The company could also introduce mystery shoppers. The mystery shopper will enter the store as a regular customer and access all aspects of the store. They will then give feedback to the store owner and advice on how to improve their store. In conclusion, Coffee Republic needs to thoroughly revise and strengthen the seven P's of the marketing mix. These include product, price, place, promotion, people, process, and physical evidence. By improving these and using our suggested recommendations, Coffee Republic will be able to increase its brand awareness, attracting more customers and increasing sales. These will help them to compete more fiercely in the coffee chain market. 
and in return become even more successful.